In this video, we have games 1 to 5 of the top 20 ESL board games. Let's take a look. Hey, how you doing guys? Welcome to Andy, the ESL guy. On this channel, I upload weekly ESL games, tips and techniques. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Cheers! So, before we start with game number one, uh, just to let you know, these games are to be used as a kind of score system throughout your class. So instead of awarding one star for a student that's good or one point, you can use these games. Um, they're also very useful for controlling classroom management and just dealing with discipline in class. So you can either award more points to one team or take off some points from this team to give to this team, okay? So just remember guys, use the game sparingly throughout your class. Don't waste time on it, but when the students are good, you can do a paper, scissors, stone, the winner can throw the dice or play your game. Okay, so let's take a look at number one. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so game number one, I call the treasure game. Okay, so all I've done is uh, taken some pictures from Google Images and put them on to the paper. Okay, so number one, 10 stars. We have nine stars, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Okay, I've decided not to give one star. So all I do, put the magnets on the back of this and up on the board. So here we have the treasure chests. So once again, you can print this from Google Images, uh, laminate it, and on the back, cut one of the pictures from your list, put on the back with the magnets, okay? So, very easy game. So simply, how we play it, once you have done your warm-up for class, you've began class, normally I let one student from this team and one from this team can play first. Okay, so everyone show me good. Who is good? Okay, come here. Good. So the student can come over, choose one treasure chest. Ta-da! Lucky. I didn't even know. So to be fair, 10 stars. Okay, so team car here. Hello? 10 stars, good job. Okay, so Team Shark, show me good. Who's good? Okay, come here. One student comes to the front, takes one treasure. Da -da! What's this one? Oh my god, actually 10 again. <laughs> so I'm actually very lucky, okay? There's only two of these. So once again, 10 stars, 10 stars for Team Shark. Now, Different ways you can actually change the game for older students. So you can put your treasure more together like this and use a sticky ball. So the student has to stand there, throw the sticky ball. If they hit this one, same thing. Wow, how many stars? So we check down. Yes or no? No, 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 no. Yeah, nine stars. Okay, so this team plus nine stars. So this game you can use throughout your class when the students are good and make sure, uh, don't waste time. That's the key thing. Use this game just to control uh, discipline and just create some extra fun in your class. Okay, so let's take a look at game number two. Game number two is a car game. Now, if you can, instead of using the, the magnets, um, you can print some... I, I like to use the Mario Kart uh, characters. So you can have Mario, Toad, Princess, Bowser, whoever you want. So today, I'm going to show you just with the magnets. So draw a racetrack on your board. Bum chicka bum chicka bing bum ch. Bam chicka bing chicka bing bam bing bam bam chicka bow chicka bing bam ch bow chicka bing chicka bing bam bing bow bow chicka bow chicka ding dong dow chicka bing chicka bing chicka bing chicka dow. Okay, so here 
G-O. G-O is go. Good. So, assign some stars for each square. One star, two stars, three stars, four stars. Okay, I'll let you see this after I've finished. So once you have your random stars placed around the board, uh, what I like to do is add a few bombs, okay? So here's a bomb. Now bomb equals bye bye one star. So you can throw in, normally I would do say three bombs, okay? So one bomb here. Okay, and in these spaces, randomly go 10. Just choose whatever you want. So here, go 2, go 9, go 7, go 6, go this way, go 5, go 3, go 2, go 25. Two more, go 1, here we'll put a little bomb. Okay, so two teams. Um, as I said before, you can use the Mario Kart characters, makes it more fun. Today I only have two blue magnets. So one team is blue, one team is blue with the black dot. Okay, so team car is blue. So show me good, who is good? Throw the dice, they throw a five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, team car. Two stars, happy days. So this team, who is good? Okay, throw the dice, throw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go back two, one, two, three stars. Two, three, so three stars for Team Shark. So then what you do, you start your class, okay? Go into whatever you're teaching, your normal class, when the students are good in the class, allow them to play this. One time, throw the dice, bam, 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 bang, stars go here. And use this to help with classroom management. So for example, this team is, really, is very bad, okay? You maybe have two students who are terrible, okay? So, okay, show me good, show me good. No, no, okay, I'm gonna bye bye one star, bye bye one star. Show me good, okay, next time, next, show me good, okay, bye bye star, bye bye star. Or instead of erasing a star, add one star to the other team, okay. So very useful for helping with the classroom discipline. So this game gets fun when you land on, for example here, go nine. So I don't know where this will go, okay. So go nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five stars. Okay, if you land on here, go three. One, two, three, two stars. 25. So sometimes you can go here, go here, go here, go here, go here, bang. Maybe a bomb, maybe hello, five stars. So hope you enjoy the game, guys. Let's take a look at number three. So this game I call Bank, and it's much better for slightly older students, okay? So how we play, so each team, you have one bank and start with zero dollars in the bank, one dollar here. So same for this team, zero, one dollar. So one, two, three, four on the dice times two, five, six, boom. Now explain to the students before the game. Five, six, the bomb can only bomb this, okay? If the money is in the bank, you cannot bomb, you can't erase this money. So, for example, Team Carr throws the dice number three, okay? So three times two, so he goes times two, okay? So one times two, two dollars. So you ask your students, ask the team, bank or no bank so they can put the money in the bank to save the money or not so say they say no bank okay this team throws a six so this stays one dollar okay 
teach your class, maybe five minutes later, this team one turn, this team one turn. Okay, so they throw uh, four. So four dollars. So ask them, bank or no bank? So the students think, mm, okay, bank. So the four dollars go here, this goes back to one, and you carry on playing. So it's like a, a risk game. So the more risk they take, the more chance they have of earning more money, okay? So for example, if here gets to $24, they decide no bank, okay? I want to make this $48, double this. Throw the dice, number five, BOOM! Back to one dollar, okay? So now they have five. So at the end of your class, add up who has the most money. So Team Car, five dollars. Team Shark, one dollar. So Team Car is the winner! This game is perfect for young kids, okay? If you have a, a new class, very young students, great game to play. So all you do, draw two flowers without the petals, okay? And simply number one equals one petal, two is two, three is three, four, five, six, okay? So same again, at the start of your class, who is good, who is good, okay? Throw the dice. So Team Carr throws a number three. So we have one, two, three petals. Good job, okay? Team Shark. Throws the dice, have a one, okay, so one petal. Uh, go back in, teach your class as normal, who is good, can throw the dice. At the end of the class, whoever has the most petals is the winner. Okay, let's take a look at game number five. Okay, so game number five is great for slightly older students, okay? So on either team, uh, draw something like this. So the colored in squares are the energy, okay? So if you have no energy, it's KO, game over, you're dead. So the team with the most energy, the most power, is the winner at the end of the, the class. So it's a dice game, so number one, you can eat grass, okay? So here, you would actually have one team is a dinosaur, one team is King Kong, okay? So number one on the dice, one energy, eat the grass. Number two, eat fruit, two energy. Number three, you can eat a dinosaur, eat a small dinosaur, hello, three energy. Number four is bite, basically attack. So if you're a team dinosaur, you can attack team gorilla, team King Kong, erase one energy, bye bye one energy. If they throw a five or a six, is fight, okay? So the student that's throwing a five or a six has to throw again. If they throw a four, for example, you give one student from the other team can throw the dice. Now, if they are higher than four, they're the winner. If they're lower than four, they're the loser. So the loser is minus two energy, okay? So you would take two off. So once again, you can change this to however you want. It's just a game I thought was quite fun that my students really like playing. And um, once again, use this for discipline in class and also just having some fun. Kids like to have fun. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed part one of the top 20 ESL board games. I'll see you in part two. Cheers.